those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, tiny Nissan MV200, built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. This is us for the afternoon, isn't it, Bunny? Yeah, nice to relax. Nice cup of tea. Yeah. And some Jaffa cakes. Oh, they're better than Jaffa cakes, they're little ones. Mm. We're parked on an estuary opposite Port Merion, so it's time to take a look. Marion is a tourist village in Gwynedd, North Wales. It was designed and built by the Welsh architect Sir Clough Williams Ellis between 1925 and 1975 and it's in the style of an Italian village. Port Merion has served as a location for numerous films and television shows, most famously as The Village in the 1960s television show The Prisoner. Now we saw lots of people walking here, but the signs make it clear that it's quite a dangerous place because of the tides. has turned and it's beginning to flood back in. are heading back and that's a sign for us to consider moving as well. The last bit of sand yields to the encroaching tide.
Okay, we're out of here, bunny. Before we get cut off, eh? Hey? Good idea. It's not coming round this bit over the road yet, is no. it? No. It's filled all that river down there. Is it? Further down, yeah. Yeah. So I had a look with the drone. Oh yes, you can see. It's coming in so fast. Go off somewhere else. Yeah. Let's see where we end up. At least we could stop for a moment and admire the castle. We're on the hunt for a park up, somewhere we can have a meal and spend the night. Bit of a weird mixture tonight. It's potatoes, um, peppers, tomatoes, prawns, and chili sauce. I've made like a potato salad with the potatoes, they're cold. Yeah. Tomatoes and peppers and prawns. Jumbo. And we're just using things up, aren't yeah. we, Charlie? Yeah, something quick. Something mm. quick and easy. Okay. okay, let's get going. Let's turn the engine on to start with. Carol's driving, my knee's hurting, and I think it might be changing gear that's causing it to be painful for some reason. Lock and load. So you want me to carry on down this road? Yeah, it's just going for a mooch around, see what's down here. When you're looking for a place to stay, we find it's best to drive along with Google Maps open and uh, just have a look at what's around you. This road turned out to be a bit of a dead end, but at least we got to see this beautiful little church. We didn't really fancy this car park, so we kept on going. Sure enough, we found the perfect little spot to spend the night. Is rising. Have a look. Morning world. Sorry about all this rumbling off the microphone. Hopefully, the next trip we won't have this problem. The first piece of toast has arrived with lashings of Welsh butter. Is it raining? Delicious. I don't know, is it? Can't see any raindrops. Okay. Oh, on the window. It's definitely raining. It's going to be a wet one today, Charlie. Very much so. First totally wet day we've had, though. Yeah. 
keep it going, eh? Can't complain. Not at all. Three and a half weeks. A few midges out here. In the rain. Yeah. It's in the rain. The hard, hardy yeah. souls. Hardcore <laughs> midges. Can't do it to one end. The pin makes it safe for driving. Right, are we all set? Pretty much. Apparently there's some standing stones here, but um, I couldn't find them. Don't know who these people are turning up. Turned out it was workmen from the local council and this is their breakfast spot. Okay. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, Charlie, let's clear off. Looks like they've just come for a bit of lunch uh, right. for their breakfast, breakfast, I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Good job the roof wasn't still up, eh? Hey? <laughs> They're all here. We've got two more vehicles outside. Oh no, that's his. Uh, is it? I think they were astonished that we could limbo under their barrier. Everything was going hunky-dory until we met the hill. <laughs> Did that scare you? Yeah. My heart's still pounding. Yeah, I thought it would be. So is this it here? You then, Charlie. It's hairy, to say the least. Yeah, Could've my bad. Hairy. I should have been filming it, but I got. Yeah. I was concentrating too much. <sighs> the <still> uh, shaking. <laughs> <laughs> the hill coming up to this castle is not for the faint-hearted. It's very, very steep, and at one point, our front wheels, because this is front-wheel drive, was losing traction. So, what did you learn coming up there? Got well, you got to keep the revs. the revs up. Plus, it was wet. The road was wet, so yeah. that probably didn't help. No, that's what was causing the slipping. But yeah. I've noticed in this, you've got to keep the revs at two thousand. Otherwise, it will die on you, and yeah. you'll never get going again. You'd no. have to reverse yeah. back down that hill. Yeah. But it didn't help by the fact that it was really only single track, wasn't it? Yeah. And you couldn't see anything. And gosh, no, I don't know what I'd have done if I'd have met a car coming the other way. Hopefully it would have given way to us coming up the hill. Yeah. But you never know, do you? You never know. Anyway, so, uh, you made it, so well done. We're at the castle. We're at the castle. Uh, we've got to buy a parking ticket. And yeah. It's not like National Trust where you get to pay park no. for free. And we're Shocking! Not booked in till ten o'clock, so we've got a twenty-five minute wait. All right. We're off for a little walk around the town to kill some time. They're, they're claiming the world's steepest street. Oh, yeah. I think there's been a battle between this and Baldwin Street in New Zealand. Oh yeah, that do you one remember? You up, yeah. yeah, and I can't remember who's taken it back now. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. It's all for motor vehicles. Let's have a look. Let's see how steep it is. <laughs> well, I'm not going all the way to the bottom. No. Uh, it goes round the corner and stuff. Yeah. Just, just go to this corner. Or just and that's to this it. corner and have a look. Yeah. yeah. 
the cars come down this way. Yeah, so yeah. it's obviously okay. If you, I suppose yeah. if you've got a low ratio car. I don't know how much speed to it get to go by. There's no way I'm walking down there with my knee. I thought there was a pavement, but there isn't really, is there? Yeah. Morning. You got a nice spot. Perfect, yeah. Now my best mate Jim would just love looking around a shop like this. It's packed with stuff in there, yeah. isn't it? Lovely to have a browse around. Unusual to see that sort of sign. Yeah. Very Take a little walk to the end of the street, then we must get back ready for the castle. Not really ice cream weather today, but I imagine it's lovely nonetheless. Well, we're at the back of the COVID queue. Been big changes to the way you enter since we were last here. Um, I'm send through the, the garden tower. Don't do it, but just take, take care of your footing, etc. Please. And the only place you need your masks are in the two towers and the exhibition room and then when you come out along the bridge and exit by the gate behind us here and if you need if you one like day to we're all gonna look back and remember this big like pandemic so this is harlick castle whenever i hear the name harlick i always think of the battle of rourke's drift and that film where they're singing as the zulus are attacking The castle was built by Edward I during his invasion of Wales between 1282 and 1289 and at that time it cost £8,190 to build. Over the next few centuries the castle played an important part in several wars, withstanding the siege of Madoc Llewellyn between 1294 and 95, but falling to Owen Glendower in 1404.
there's a fellow drone pilot down there. Found you, Charlie Babbitt. <laughs> yeah. I was hiding. Yeah, you're trying to hide from me, yeah. weren't you? I don't know why you do that. <laughs> Every looking funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's in very good condition, isn't it? I know. It's one of the best, I think, for its age, and you know how strong it is. It's amazing. Yeah. I think that was the school bell for all the kids to go in. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, they're all back in now, kids. Of course they're not coming here. <laughs> so did you read the sea used to come right up to the Yeah, house? well I thought it must have done. I yeah. didn't read it, but That's it must have done, mustn't it? And they used to bring in supplies from Ireland by ship. Oh, right. Straight in, especially when it was under siege. Yeah. Carol has decided to walk down to the sea gate. Good luck. That's a blooming long way down, Daisy May. Did you visit Charlie? Very much, yes. I took lots of photos of the information boards so we can read them all later at our leisure. And your leisure. That walkway down to the water port, oh, water yeah. gate. Did you go all the way down? No, it went, I went down to the arch gate yeah. where you go through and then there was. it went down and down and down. To the sea, it used to be it there. It used to be to the sea. But I took a photo of what it used to look like in the 1300s, all right, yeah. a model. So you can yeah. see how long that route was, all yeah. the way down to the sea. And I mean, to bring all the stuff up from yeah, the exactly, ships, yeah. bringing all the food and to have to carry that all the way up. It's quite and a trek. No I was going to go down there with my knee. No, you need to get your knees looked at. You just get some paracetamol. Yeah. Well, we got or some, some strong. Here, we? We've just got ordinary. Maybe we can get some strong painkillers. <laughs> Just one salt won't cut it for me, there's will it? There's two there. Oh no, no there's a, oh, one, one salt, salt one pepper. pepper. Yeah. Oh, I thought there were two salt. No, one salt won't cut it. No. But you can have my sugar. So you can have four sugars. I never have four sugars. Mm. That looks nice. This is my 11 zizz. Yeah. Oh. So nice to get a proper cup. Yeah. The National Trust are still doing disposable paper. Mm. I think there's two bags in there. Mm. Last okay. a long time. Get two cups out of there. It's lovely. Cheers. Cheers, Charlie Brown. That's just going in for the mega scoff. I need to wait for my uh, butter to melt. Yeah. Is it Welsh butter? I hope so. No, it's Irish butter. Irish butter? Pure Irish. Sorted. Why are they not supporting their own country? Not sure if there's supposed to be a sausage on this, so we've gone to check. <laughs> I think they've realised they're going to bring it out to you. Uh, okay. Well done. Thanks very much. Not a breakfast without sausages. And the sausages have arrived. Looks tasty. Mm. 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 Yeah, nice one. Mm. Good. Just a plain one, yeah? Fruit. Oh, fruit's gone. Yeah. Mm, very good. Mm. It didn't look to be much fruit in that to me. Okay, we're out of this place. Okay. We're not going to go down the steep hill. No, we'll go the other way. Yeah. So it's left out of the car park and then left on the road, I think. Charlie's being brave, getting back in the saddle straight after a scare this morning. The castle is beautifully preserved, so it's well worth a visit, I think creep up here in first. Get ready for scare number two. What 
ship coming back. days ago I hurt my knee. I slipped on an ice cream lid that was on the floor that I didn't see. I don't know what I've done to it but it's getting very difficult to walk and kneeling down in the van is almost impossible. We had intended to keep going for quite a long time but with a heavy heart I had to tell Carol that I didn't think I could continue. So with a decision made we set off heading for home. And we're going to do the journey in one trip, sharing the driving as we go. The lake you never saw. is mirroring how we're both feeling. Neither of us wanted to end the trip, but it doesn't make any sense to keep going with my knee in this condition. Leak up here, isn't it? Yeah. What a be 
beautiful road to ride a bike. This is without doubt a beautiful road to drive, but very slow, so we need to find something quicker. So we just turned onto the A5 now, so we should be making better progress than we were on that B road. That was a really pretty drive we've just been through. So we're going to have to come back and see that properly one day. like a treat so we're having a meal at Miller and Carter's Steakhouse. think the video deserves it then please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the little red camper